Hey guys, welcome to another action figure review. Today I'll be reviewing Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, Will Turner, and the undead Captain Jack Sparrow. Now these figures are sold separately for around the average price of £8. Um, obviously he's quite old now because they came out with the first Pirates of the Caribbean film. But I'm sure you could find them on eBay or Amazon. The usual places like that. Um, okay, so I haven't got the box or anything. But they did come weapons and these weird coins, which I think were called pieces of eight. And oops, and that's Jack Sparrow. There you go, just there. If you hold to the light, it kind of looks 3D or whatever. And then here's Will Turner. So they're quite cool. Okay, so first up, our review. Jack. Okay, so now, in terms of detail, actually quite amazing. Um, this is a Hasbro, so it's especially good. Um, comes with a sword, which can fit in both hands, and that's what it came with. Also, the hat here, removable. Nothing to say about that, just a hat. Apart from it goes on this way around with that little notch there. So it fits on properly like that. But yeah, as I was saying, detail is quite good. So you can see all the beads and the hair and the rings and everything on the belt. It's quite nice. Um, also got the undead parts. Where he's like in the zombie mode or whatever. His face, the hand, a bit of the chest here, and his knee. It's got a kneecap, knee bone showing. Um, the articulation on these figures is terrible. I'm not gonna lie. There's no poses you can really get them in, but I'll go for articulation anyway. Swivel head. Swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel body, and swivel thighs, and that's it. Nothing for the hands. So, as I just said, posability not that great. Okay, now on to Will Turner. Also, very well detailed. He comes with a axe and a very small dagger. Um, I think this figure is based around the scene where all the pirates are on the um, bay and they're attacking attacking the little village thing. And then he goes out and tries to act all badass, then gets hit on the head by a candle stand, and then goes, but yeah. So very well detailed, you can see all the passing in here and paint for the buttons. Um the shoulder rest thingy doesn't actually hold a weapon, which isn't that great. Um, his hands hold weapons really well, a lot better than the Captain Jack. Okay, so articulation, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel head, swivel body, I think, wait. Nope, swivel thighs, and swivel knees. So slightly, kind of better articulation. Yeah, quite cool figures, and uh... I will be either going to see the new Pirates of the Caribbean film and definitely buying some figures and I'll be reviewing those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very short review and I'll see you next time for 
another review. Bye.